Hello and welcome to my current level 85 Assassin Arcplate build for Warhammer 40k um, Inquisitor Martyr Yeah, so currently I am level 85 and I am really enjoying the Arcplate build I generally just use it for spin to win, but I will use the uh, the original combo skill every so often but this whirlwind attack is just too good and then blade storm is just really useful if I need to kill uh, a single mob that's like armored or something anyway we'll go through our passives first I'll show showcase all these passives and go down what I went down first so while leveling I tried out multiple uh, blades I, I decided I was going to go um, melee so I went and tried different uh, melee builds and then I was just an arc blade just clicked with me because it's a very lazy build well when the attack is just lazy and they'll take leap is really fun anyway so first thing I went down after I decided what I was going to go was actually heat attacks I went for all of the um, pathway nodes towards the critical hits deep critical hits dealing heat damage add heat vulnerability because we do heat damage heat 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 electric damage actually and then after I did the heat attacks I went for area attack uh, effects and pretty much just maxed it out bar the middle one and master sapper I don't use mind skills and I don't care about cooldown. Next I went for crits and almost maxed this out as well because you kind of need crits. Well you don't need crits but crits are very good in this build. Next we went for movement speed and only went for the left side of this tree. Did not go for evasive bionics nor did we go for mental spur. Uh, that allows me to just have a decent chunk of movement speed because movement speed is king and then the I, I also went for puritan path 20% warp resistance is just good <laughs> like I don't need as much uh, resistance in my gear if I have it on my passive tree then I went for mo almost maxing out the health and almost maxing out the defense again more resistance on the tree means less resistance on your gear lastly i am now currently going down the melee combat first thing i went for was expose weakness every time i crit with a melee hit it adds vulnerability if you add that with this it stacks up to 10 times insanely fast and that is great uh, and now i'm just going down the crit side some people prefer to go down the suppression side because it's a lot of suppression damage reduction and crit hit chance and damage and shit like that. Uh, it's just, you have to stay in the protected status and I'm not always in protected. So I'd rather have it up 100% of the time rather than like 75% of the time. That's pretty much the only difference. But if you think you can stay in protected status 100% of the time, this is actually better than this. This is still the best thing to get, is Exposed Weakness. Just so you can get to your 10 stacks stupidly fast. Anyway, that's the passive tree. Um, I think it's decent. Uh, so the next like 15 levels will just be put into this and then possibly Suppression. Depends on how I feel. Next, we'll look at my character's perks and my stats. As you can see, both of my hit points and suppression are above 6,500. Almost, almost all of my defenses are above or close to 60% except damage reduction, but that's fine. Uh, if I'm already at like 60% a lot and my dodge is at 80%, meaning very, very, only 20% of attacks actually hit me and then are uh, reduced by whatever my resistance is and then maybe my damage re resistance is at the very end. I've, I very rarely take much damage, and if I do take damage, I don't take a lot. Next we'll look at my perks. Heat sinks is just good. 
um, flat 45% heat damage bonus. There is better heat damage bonus there, like Puritan's really good. Um, but you have to keep your shield up. I have no form to make sure my shield is always up. Next we have Precognitive Evasion. I really like this because I don't have to, I don't use dodge move and it's a permanent 15% supreme dodge. There is the other one which gives you 10% more supreme dodge chance while moving. If you're this build generally moves a lot, but if you're using your combo attack, you're not moving, you're standing still attacking, but if you're spinning, you're spinning around the car the enemy and you are always moving. Um so fluid nature is technically better than precognitive evasion. But I prefer this because I'm already 80%. Why, why use something that might be there, on like isn't there 100% of the time? And next we have the Nephilim Munger. I don't use any of my adrenaline, so this is always 20% dodge. So we're always at 80%. Now, lastly, we'll look at my gear. So my gear isn't the best gear in the world and there are definitely things that I'm tr currently trying to improve. I do not mind this visceral frenzy, my relic neural implant. I want to get rid of this experience gained and I would like to get rid of this exe uh, execution chance. But other than that, I actually really, really like this. I like Berserk. Berserk is great because it move, uh, you can stack up to 100 times and get like 20% move speed. Riley! Uh, next we have my implant of insanity, which actually is just everything I want. Hit chance, move speed, crit damage, more damage, just just nice. Surrounded by the way is like three enemies around you. So yeah, I like this. This is probably the best I want and then I just want more insanities but higher level. Um, next we have my implant. And two seconds, I need to close my door. Oh. This is all live, I don't edit, I don't do any of that, so yeah. Um, yes, so, uh, we are almost always in berserk state. So this uh, initial status, 67 HP and suppression on kill is amazing. This second one, I don't like the max ES, don't care. The seven and a half, seven point six percent all resist when surrounded. As you can see, I don't actually need it, but it's nice. And but this last mod is just amazing. And then here we have shield efficiency. I should probably get rid of that, but then like ninety percent HP regen, which is just great. Uh, we have this seal of wrath. I really like this. But I could probably do without it nowadays. I could probably get a better uh, purity, like better one. Because if I take that out, um, my fizz resist is actually really bad. But if you look, um, it's, I probably do need it. Um, if I can get something that has like 13 fizz resist and like, yeah. But overall, I think it's really good. Uh, that first mod, I would like to change. When in rage states, um, enemies are feared. Not really too bothered by that, but yeah. Uh, this is probably the best belt equipment, is the crit belt. Uh, plus 30% crit hit chance means that whenever I pop that, I go to 50% crit hit chance, which is just great. 50% chance to slow on blinding skill hit doesn't affect me. Okay. And uh, all resist, always good. Crit hit chance, always good. Plus three survival, it's okay. Uh, and then the this last mod, I really, really like. Um, things are almost always shocked. So, yeah, this is just great. This, this, uh, this piece of armor is just, just fucking insane. I don't think I could have asked for a better piece of armor. Um, I want this again. I would love to see this at level like a hundred or something, but uh, Yeah, so I gain supreme dodge and I gain chance to blind nearby enemies on dodge It's just fucking insane. And I also gain God. I also gain dodge. I also gain movement speed 
I also gain warp resistance. I also gain suppression damage reduction. It's just great. Um, the temporal distortion field is actually really nice as well. When you pop it on a boss or something, they don't really move at all. And you can just beat the crap out of them, and it's great. Uh, my armor piece also has the damage aura. If you... Oh, you can't see it. Um, it's like a fire aura around me, and it's just good. And then I just add uh, heat resistance and supreme warp resistance, so I can get up to 70% warp resistance. And that is... Uh, that, I would love to get this to, like, um, tier 5, so I could have uh, more heat resistance. But right now, that's just, just good. Next, we have our inoculator. The inoculator isn't what I want. I don't like this, um, but it's it is nice at the same time. Like I, I kill a lot. I kill things stupidly fast, and yeah, having all my HP and suppression gained when I kill and all of it come back is just great. Uh, dodge chance always nice. HP always nice. HP on hit is stupidly low. But it's kind of useful. And then this damage reduction for ranged enemies is also pretty good. I could easily change all this out. I'll do that at some point. Next, we have our two signums. Uh, crit hit chance for next attack on hit taken. I, I get hit very rarely, but when I do get hit, at least I uh, have a higher chance to crit. 10% um, chance to fear on crits goes well with my um, like everybody around me is feared 80% damage for AoE we only use AoE skills 6.2% uh, damage flat damage damage bonus this is this is something I could change like I don't need this and that damage bonus for channel skills is just good this is one of the best things you can get it's one two three four five you can five is the maximum amount of enchants plus the base enchant you get for the item. This is just good. This is probably one of the best items you can possibly get. And it's a level 72, but I would love it to be like, of course, a level 100, once I get to level 100. Next, we have our uh, second signum, level 82. This isn't great, but this 84% chance to get an arranged token on kill is stupidly overpowered. I. I'm always at 20, 20 in range uh, stacks, and if you do not know what they do, they give you 2% or is it 4% damage bonus, and there's other stuff you can do on top of that. Um, like when enraged, everything around me is feared and stuff like that. Uh, and then we've got crit damage, more damage, more damage for the ability that I'm using. Next. We've got our Archaeotech Relic Blade on my main hand so that we get a buff to the skills that the Archaeotech gives me. And those two skills are Blade Storm and Whirlwind Attack, which is actually probably the best two skills I can think I, I could possibly want. And I'm stupidly happy that I got it that way. This, however, is not the best Archaeotech Relic Arc Blade I could get. It has these, which I'm super happy about. 50% of assassin combo skill uh, is dealt. That's nice, because that's the combo skill. It means uh, when things around the target I'm attacking, uh, they take half that damage, which is quite nice. Um, a chance to release Thunderbolt of Authority on hit. Um, more damage on attack on dodge. We dodge all the fucking time, so that's always doing more damage and then we have 70% damage bonus for AoE skills which gives our world attack 4822 DPS which goes drastically up while you are in a fight. Next we have our um, Sam thing which gives us just a flat 125% heat damage bonus which is just great. This other weapon however is just mediocre it's fine it's not the best like this cooldown reduction for all skills meh this suppression gained on hit is meh uh damage bonus when suppression status is protected it's good um so but the this damage gain 
uh, bonus against champion enemies is great and damage bonus against everything is great so i can show you how strong this is in the in a fight so we'll just have some fun we'll go against a level let's say a 91 we'll just showcase this if you don't want to see the showcase then you can end the ah oh, crap you can end the video here i forgot to like add crap to this battle but we'll sh i'll show you how strong it is um yeah it's a plus six i think yeah it's a plus six but i will just show you how strong it is a lot of the time i don't even have to uh, spin like they just die by walking through them but if i spin you can see just all the damage all the damage things just die and it's great um where is it's over here and yeah it, once you get to like these kind of things you can spin to win and kill them but you can also just attack them with um this or just spin as you can see my health is almost always at max but only if i'm killing things this isn't as fast as say a psyker psychers are much faster at doing things but yeah you can see how fast i am at killing things right now anyway let's uh just continue um and you'll see my attacks are going up in damage Da, 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 da. Right now we're at seven and a half, seven and a half thousand DPS. The more you kill, the the more damage you do. The more damage you do, the more you kill. The more you kill, the more damage you do, and it's just, it's just fun. Watching all of this crap happen. Whee! And if you don't want to watch the rest of this fight, you don't have to. It's, yeah. Where are we at? Eight and a half thousand, yep. And there we go. You we are done. Fine example for their kind always, inquisitor. always open these. And that is a showcase of how this is against a plus six. It works up to like plus 15. Um, I have done hardcore void crusades. I've died maybe once in the whole entire game. I've died maybe once and that was in an unholy cathedral um but i wasn't quite ready anyway thank you all very much for watching i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all next time around i will try to update this every five levels if you do want to see this build get updated every five levels um leave a like or comment down below and if you do not leave a dislike i can see the dislikes by the way not you so if you do not want me to um make more videos like this or every five levels then dislike or even leave a comment and tell me no you don't want to see more of this shit uh anyway thank you all very much for watching i will see you all next time around have fun and bye bye